Welcome back, Pioneers. We hope you had an incredible weekend. Today is Monday, April 26, 2021. It's time for the news in the morning with your WPKN news team, starring Micah with the Pledge of Allegiance, Ariana with the weather, and Miss Parker and Miss Williams with today's Pioneer Minutes. I'm Andrea Exposito with today's news. But first, let's all stand and join Micah for the Pledge of Allegiance. Micah? Good morning, Pioneers. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Now back to our anchor. Awesome job, Micah. Now let's check in with Abriana in the wet in the <coughs> WPKN weather st- studio for a check on today's forecast Abriana Good morning pioneers today's weather will be sunny with a 3% chance of rain the wind will be blowing out of the southwest at 13 miles per hour the high today will be 91 degrees with a low of 75 degrees have a great day now back to our anchor Great job, Aubriana. For lunch today, our fabulous Romeo chefs are have prepared for us a choice of cheesy mac, seasoned veggies, and fresh fruit. Don't forget your choice of milk. Now, it's time for today's Pioneer Minutes with Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams for the school announcements. Take it away, Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams. Good morning, Romeo. It is a marvelous Monday. It was so good to see you all. Your smiling faces in car line today. Boys and girls, we have some celebrations to do today. First of all, buses. 3031 is not on campus yet. Um, teachers hold off on attendance. We will make an announcement when they arrive. But we're going to recognize all of the other buses for a fantastic job this morning. 330, 37, 30, 26, 30, 25, 30, 24, 30, 29, 30, 25, and 30, 35. Fantastic. Way to start off our week, boys and girls. Keep up the good work. Now, the Golden Cups. Listen to this. First grade, Miss McLean, 79 golden cups. That's 79 opportunities to be lead by example. Fantastic first graders. Miss Peterson and Miss Johansson, they are both tied at 78 cups. Again, fantastic. Third grade, Miss Alexander, 80 golden cups. Super job, third graders. Miss Dunn's fourth grade, 75 golden cups. And Miss Heidevick and Miss Viverito and Mr. Leap's classrooms, all tied at 77 golden cups. Boys and girls, way to take that opportunity to make us better. Um, teachers, PE will meet in the breezeway by in the bus loop. That's between buildings two and three. All right, Matt Manatee, don't forget that it is due Friday to Mr. McLean. Remember, Matt said, hi, friends. I loved all of your letters. It was so fun learning about your favorite animal. This week, I want to know, if you were a superhero, what would your name be and what powers would you have? Would you be able to fly or turn invisible? Hmm, the possibilities are endless. I can't wait to see what you write to Matt. So now let's move on to some words of wisdom. It says, listen to this story called The Boar and the Fox. A boar is a wild pig with tusks like an elephant's. A boar uses his tusks to protect himself. One day, the boar was sharpening his tusk on a tree trunk when a fox came by. The fox said, my goodness, you are working hard to sharpen your tusk, but there's no one around who wants to hurt you. To that, the boar replied, well, if I wait until something tries to attack me, there will be no time to sharpen my tusk. I must get them ready now so that they will be of good use to me when I need them. What is the moral of this story? It's important to make choices today so you will be ready for tomorrow. Like choosing to do your homework today so you'll be ready to turn it in tomorrow. Or choosing to brush your teeth tonight so you won't have cavities in the future. 
Today, remember the boar and the fox. Make choices today that will help you to be your best tomorrow. With something to think about, this is Miss Williams. Make it a great day, Romeo. The choice is yours. Thank you, Miss Parker and Miss Williams. Well, that's all for today, Pioneers. D be sure to join us again tomorrow for the news that kids can count on to start their day. I'm Andrew Exposito. Until next time, see you later. Bye for now.